Question 1. What are the two storage options available in SBase and what are the differences? Answer. A so aggregate storage option used for if we have large number of dimensions, generally more than 10. Most of the dimensions are sparse. We cannot write back in ASO. I heard recently that ASO will also have the write back capability. BSO block storage option dimensions are less and dense. Recommended values for NOR of DIM are between 4 and 8. We can write back hence much suited for planning applications. Financial applications are generally dense structures and normal energy analytical cubes are sparse. Here we also need to understand what these dense and sparse members are. When the intersections or cells of two dimensions mostly contain a value it is dense. Question 2. Can we build dimensions directly from data sources without using rule 5? Answer. No we cannot build dimensions directly from data sources without using rule files. Question 3. When do we generally use build rules files? Answer. To automate the process of creating dimensions with thousands of members. Question 4. What are the three primary build methods for building dimensions? Answer. Generation references, level references, parent-child references. Question 5. In what case we can define generation 1 to a field, in generation build method? Answer. We cannot define that as generation 1 is not valid. Question 6. Suppose we have assigned generation 2 and generation 4 as of now and think of adding generation 3 later sometime. Can we build the dimension? Answer. No. If gen 2 and gen 4 exists, we must assign gen 3. Question 7. Can we create more than two dimensions using only one build rule file? Answer. Yes, we can do that but it is recommended to use separate rule file for each dimension. Question 8. What is ODA? User defined attributes. How are they different than aliases? Answer. ODA represents the class of the members. Aliases are just another names of the members. Both are different and has different usage. Question 9. Can we query a member for its ODA in a calculation script? Answer. Yes. You can query a member for its ODA in a calculation script. Question 10. How does UDAs impact database size? Answer. Absolutely no impact as UDAs does not require additional storage space. Question 11. What is the difference between UDAs and attribute dimensions? Answer. Attribute dimensions provides more flexibility than UDAs. Attribute calculations dimensions which include five members with the default names sum, count, min, max and avg are automatically created for the attribute dimensions and are calculated dynamically. Question 12. How does attribute dimensions and UDAs impact batch calculation performance? Answer. UDAs no impact as they do not perform any inherent calculations. Attribute dim no impact as they perform only dynamic calculations. Question 13. How can we display UDAs in reports? How do they impact report report performance? Answer. UDAs values are never displayed in the reports and hence do not impact report performance. Question 14. How is data stored in the SBase database? Answer. SBase is an file-based database where the data is stored in pack files of 2 GB each and grows sequentially. Question 15. Can we have multiple databases in one single application? Answer. Yes. But only one database per application is recommended. Question 16. Can we have one SO database and one BSO database in one single application? If yes, how and if no, why? Answer. No. Because we define a SO or BSO option while creating the application and not database. Hence if the application is a SO, the databases it contains will be that type only. Question 17. What is the role of provider services? Answer. To communicate between SBase and Microsoft Office tools. Question 18. What is an alternative to create meta outline, rule file and load data? Answer. Integration services and in version 11, we have SBase Studio. Question 19. Can we start and stop an application individually? How can this be used to increase performance? Answer. Yes. We can manage our server resources by starting only the applications which receive heavy user traffic. When an application is started, all associated databases are brought to the memory. Question 20. How can I migrate an application from my test environment to the production environment? Answer. Hyperion Administrative Services Console provides a migration utility to do this but only the application, database objects are migrated and no data is transferred.